Uh, hello to everybody. As I understand, I will share it myself. Yes. So as uh, uh, Kostia already told, I'm uh, part of the uh, innovation cluster. Um, actually, I'm uh, I'm a leader of a non-profit organization Levi Malihaves, uh, and and this innovation cluster is about grass-fed beef. And I'm also uh, uh, I'm also a farmer. I have um, uh, 170 uh, beef animals, and I'm actively uh, testing all the things that uh, we do in the innovation cluster or with other projects. So this um, hardly uh, pronounced uh, name of the project is actually one of the fifth activities that we do in the innovation cluster, but uh, it's uh, the most closest, uh, close uh, connection with animal uh, health and welfare. That's why we chose to, um, um, to show that. But in, in other words, in short terms, uh, the idea of us was uh, uh, to find the natural organic ways, uh, including taking uh, account the life cycle of insects and to reduce the pressure of biting insect of cattle. And it means the blood sucking insect. Uh, actually, actually, horse flies, uh, mosquitoes, and that kind of. Uh, we are we are in Estonia. Actually, in uh, we are lucky. Uh, after these five years, we have tested the different things, and uh, my idea of blood sucking sucking insects have also changed. That we are actually lucky that we have them, because uh, as we studied different um, uh, different studies with our um, uh, partner uh, in, in Ma Ülikol, or uh, Rural uh, Institute, uh, we figured out that, that this is not a problem in, in other European countries, or maybe in Finland, uh, because there is any, there is no insect anymore because of the uh, pressure of uh, agriculture. So we are really finding the ways uh, not to harm them too much, but give uh, um, better um, health for the, uh, our grazing cattle. This, this is also the second thing that we are lucky in Estonia, because we have um, so much grazable land still we can use for the um, uh, beef and milk cattle. But uh, we have still thousands of hectares unused um, natural pastures. And the only problem there is, is, uh, is uh, sometimes in some places, the more natural the pasture is, the more there will be um, uh, disturbance of the blood sucking insects. About the project period, uh, it started already 2017 and actually it ends in uh, next year. We have done all the field tests already. The first uh, three uh, or for uh, two years, we just counted and uh, uh, different species of insects that are around of our cattle, and we got quite interesting results of, of this also. This haven't been done in Estonia, and now we have a good list of uh, different uh, uh, kind of uh, insects that, that disturb animals or not disturb. And about funding, this funding is uh, Innovation Cluster Project. So. To go further, uh, we use uh, some, mm, not make all innovative practices or technologies. Uh, we, um, at first period, after we have counted all the insects uh, and we tried to figure out how we can actually uh, do something. I will uh, start the video. Maybe then you can see what's happening there. We made this kind of uh, self scratch posts for the cattle in, uh, in on pasture because it, it was very, very important that <clears throat> they would use them because if we have a natural pastures we have also trees and they can scratch them uh, the animals can scratch, scratch them there but then we applied to these tea posts uh, we applied salt and mineral so they will start to use them and actually mm, the, this long black thing here is um, mm, how to say it's um, it's a material uh, that is, uh, mm, no, it's like cloth uh, stuffed with uh, some uh, soft 
feelings and it's uh, it's uh, there is it's, then it's connected to a mixture of neem oil and canola oil and uh, and the cows go there because of the this uh, cloth is also there is a metal scratching uh, this like sharper um, things on like chains uh, they they really can scratch themselves and this really worked at 2020 very well uh, they use it and they covered it uh, them with uh, with the oil it was quite hard to um, uh, to say if it's if the influence of the of the is that working or not working with one year <clears throat> but the next year <clears throat> 2021 actually we had a, a issue that uh, because of the weather in Estonia, we had really hot and long hot weathers, uh, 30 degrees and more, and we had a huge amount of horse flies. So the weather was so bad, the welfare of the animals were so mm, low that, that, that then this year they didn't really use anything because they were just escaping for the insects. So it's hard to say if, um, if this kind of um, thing really works. And, uh, and for testing this neem oil, uh, started to uh, give me an idea why don't we find something uh, some plant oil that we could grow also in Estonia and that leads us to another um, practice that we did this year uh, we um, no it started earlier we we found out with our uh, uh, academic partner that there is some some um, uh, some plants that have the plant oil has influence to insects. It's actually Nepeta cataria uh, that grows in Estonia. So we really, in our innovation cluster, uh, planted one small field with it. So in 2022, we had already plant growing. We uh, distilled it and uh, and used the same Nepeta cataria oil uh, with uh, mixture with garlic oil and uh, and but we wanted to try how to was to um, uh, spray cattle in a, in a way that um, uh, you don't have to be a like human touch there so I will show we built this kind of fence or uh, and animals walk through there is a solar panels up of the uh, thing and the sprayer in this uh, video, they are still testing. No, uh, we don't want to uh, stress animals. They uh, test tested the fence. We put the fence in uh, watering areas. And at first we tested it just to walk through. And then we start spraying. And uh, for the influence, if to sh see if there is any change of the uh, behavior animals, if they get sprayed, uh, we had a good connection with other innovation cluster with milk cluster and we uh, got the pedometers every not every cattle but um, uh, five cattle of the group had uh, pedometers uh, in their necks so we we measured the steps actually and uh, we had some good results of that also no challenges we had challenges of course uh, mm, the main challenge is um, Mm, uh, because there was only one equipment, for example, this walkthrough gate. If this was uh, broke, then uh, with this uh, word, why, uh, why a thing that we have, we have a war and we have a still COVID influence. So some spare parts arrive a uh, really long time and we have only short period of the insect to test. So uh, that was a problem. So the, the equipment broke at a really good time when there was lots of insects so we have to do um, some handwork and spray cattle by by uh, by manually um, and also it's uh, everything that happens uh, in nature is is unpredictable we can't predict the weather uh, if it's the summer will be uh, warm or not warm or uh, rainy so this kind of uh, testing needs to get a uh, longer period an innovation cluster uh, give, gives us time. So, 
uh, so we we had some results uh, which like shows that uh, this spraying with with this uh, oil mixture uh, gives animals a release, but it really needs to uh, get further. We have to test it longer. So we are looking actually, and uh, the new um, innovation clusters or um, new period projects to uh, go forward with it. Uh, fortunately, the, the insect experiment was so interesting for the people who are involved. So uh, the scientific partner is also uh, looking for funding um, to use it. So, so I'm quite uh, happy that we have started something that we can go forward. But thank you. And if you have uh, questions, uh, be free to ask or write to me. And, uh, and I have to say one thing, as I'm also uh, a, pa a partner or Livi Malihaveis is a partner in uh, in uh, European project Bovain, deep uh, project. So these uh, these things that I have done, we have done in innovation cluster. We have spread it in between in different uh, partners in Europe, and I'm happy to see that uh, some of them have already like this first uh, thing that we do, the scratching posts, has also already picked up by Poland farmers <laughs> who have uh, built the same thing and uh, trying to use their uh, practices uh, and uh, their mixtures to, to help uh, to scratch um, and to um, give animals the better uh, welfare. Because actually uh, it's not have to be always to use some chemicals or some natural chemicals, just scratching to giving the animal uh, best way to scratch is, is one uh, very important welfare uh, thing. So if there is a, like a big feedlots uh, or big pastures with no trees, then this kind of uh, simple equipment is very important for, uh, for animals. But 